Grimthorpe. Welcome. I was planning to stream at like 3, but then I finished doing all the things I had to do earlier than I expected. Now we are here. And we're getting our meal for the day. Goodbye, kitty. Need some food. But I ate it. Okay. We've been running the, uh, which I'll show you. I'll show you how to run it. The labyrinth dungeon from uh from the two two nights. And my hair. It also needs to be trimmed. <clears throat> Unigan. We run. Uh, we don't run. We we haven't run to very hard before now because very hard dungeons we didn't get until we finished the main story. I was just running a regular. We run uh, Miu. Soira for additional points and Deirdre as well for the points and because she gets some um, shadow from running this dungeon sometimes like many other characters uh, story char episode characters she unfortunately has a dungeon that drops almost nothing you want so leveling shadow on her it's very inefficient and you pretty much do it if you really like her I think summoner's ritual is good to clear the, the guys in here? Yeah. So that's good. Because we need to conserve as much of her mana as possible for boss. And we also, if we see a horror, the horror only exists on the rare version of the second map. It gives more magic points, so we fight it if we see it. Uh, I just accidentally did that again. Stop accidentally doing that. That was a massive waste of another force. Okay. Let's get grown. My cat is growling. Come here. Come here, kitty. She doesn't want that. What's up? Leo! Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. Let me wrangle these cats real quick. Leo! I'll be right back. Sorry, I'm back. Cats required wrangling. That frog guy look funny. I love the frog guy. He's great. Oh dang, I forgot to switch back my attacks. Let's I accidentally it used another force. <laughs> um, now the cats are wrangled. Should be able to finish this dungeon. And do whatever we wish. Holy 
is a mistake to have Sora in the front line. Because we have to listen to her talk if she's in the front line. She looks so cool! Greatest dilemma of my life. Okay, maybe not quite that. Maybe not quite that extreme. We are gonna switch her to the back line though. I think Deirdre is a higher level anyway, yeah. To the front line, Deirdre. Deirdre? I'm never sure how to say that. Okay, what we're supposed to be doing is using Summoner's Ritual so we don't have to take like three turns to kill everything. Mighty Power of Tiramis. Okay, we killed everyone on this level, but we also need to loot all the chests. We want as many magic points as possible. So we never have to run these dungeons again. We finish collecting them all. Then, decide what to do today. Because I don't really have a plan. This is the regular version of the same event, but it's like a horror. I do like how purple this dungeon is, but it's kind of all the same. So it gets a little boring fast. From this way as well. This is not the most. But uh, those who wish to die. I really didn't want to sit at nine. Nine green keys. No one could. Then I can't get any more. Summoner. And that's just a tragedy. I'll use up the rest of them. A different. I say different them later. I will take care of this. Ritual. Summoner's Ritual. It's great when they can die to Summoner's Ritual because I get to serve MP. Uh, and it's a bit of a problem when they don't fall to Summoner's Prick. Prick? That's the one. Next level. No, Summoner's Prayer might be the next level. Let's keep it up. I cannot remember my character's abilities names very well. I know her, uh, her main set of Summoners. But I do not always remember what you I know Ritual is the first level one. Oh, I, don't, I don't know if I gave Deirdre- No, I think Deirdre has a sword. I don't think that's the default sword. So. Let's wander around this labyrinth. Collect all the money. Not money. Collect all the Miglance magic. Oh. Stairs over here. I really should have gone over there when I was over there. <laughs> I have to do a bunch of backtracking. But luckily, we killed all the guys. Uh, there's only... I can't remember now if it's five or six enemies. Random enemy attacks per room on a dungeon. Or that's what it is, so they'll disappear once you do enough of that. Which, uh, I guess is... It has its good sides and its drawbacks. The drawback being that sometimes there's rare enemies that you need to farm for materials. And you just have to keep running the dungeon and hoping you get them because only a limited number of a uh, limited number of them per per run. Sometimes extremely limited. It can really suck. Some of them can be harder than farming the rare monsters, surrender. actually. The rare horrors, actually. The rare drops off of a rare monster that's only on one stage. It's kind of a massive nuisance. Sounds unpleasant? Yes. Yes it is. Luckily, most farming stuff is not day. as bad. The newer stuff. I would say the newer stuff is not as bad no one can defeat as some of the older stuff. There's not as much in dungeon you have to do. There's still some, but... And it's usually not rare drops. So it's way more manageable. I shall take your soul with my sword. Which is pretty good, because... That way, you don't have to keep running the same dungeon over and over and accomplishing nothing. At least if it's a dungeon someone gets light or shadow off of, you are trying to get light and shadow or shadow on them as well, so even if you don't get the thing you're trying to get, it's not really wasted. No one can defeat a dragon and you get the drops too, so. A lot of the time you're like, man, I could be doing something I want to do instead of running this stupid dungeon again. 
I am. I am very specific. I shall take your soul with my sword. Zer Zerberia Shade. Huh? We are nowhere near doing that. It is probably my After least favorite dungeon over, in the, the entirety of another Eden. I hate it. <laughs> it is unpleasant. I mean, I can run it all right. I think I might even be able to do a mostly free character team for it once I get Deirdre. Deirdre or Deirdre? Which way would you? Deirdre or Deirdre? Okay, and this is the third room. So should we we should be getting to the boss next. Which I think is the Mist Golem, because that's what we fight at uh each of the So we also will get uh when I I'm gonna switch to running this hard as well, because we'll get more magic there. Now we want some of this gift down. And ah. Rock Slash. It's weak to Earth, so it's not, not bad at all. And dragons. Dang it! It didn't die! Okay, there. She's slow, but she got in that last hit. I think it was probably gonna die from pain anyway. But whatever we can do to make it die faster. Congratulations! In dungeon items. We obtain in five speed one badge and a luck six speed one badge. And we need 96 or more lighter shadow to get the third reward, which is why I really should work on farming one of the story characters up. Probably Cyrus, because I'm used to running his dungeon, so it's easy. I'm used to running his dungeon and Helena's, and I have nowhere near the team to run Helena's easily like I do. So, Cyrus. Cyrus it is. He'll be our light person. Light light bearer, you could call them. Frog Daddy? Yeah, isn't he a great, he's a great frog daddy. I believe he's supposed to be in his 30s, according to his bio. We can look at that. Let's click it. Status. Actually, I didn't want to look at status. I actually want to look at ability board. Have all his. He doesn't. He's a mysterious swordsman who looks like a frog. He lives a hermetic life to hide his cursed form. Little is known of his origin, but it's said he hails from a country to the east. He's handy with a sword. His fuse is short, and he's known to be a bit absent-minded. It's estimated he's around 37 years old. I don't- he, not that many characters get, like, a specific age. It also makes him one of the older characters in the party. Most of them are, like, young adults. No? Okay, I was gonna say we can do whatever you want, but I, I have a, suspi a suspicion. We might want to do this first. Uh, Cyrus's second quest. An actual. Night. Castle. I want my regular team. Story plus tier editor. Yes, yeah, let's go do. Let's go do his quest. Supposedly, the menu loading times, I saw this on the Reddit, the, ma the map loading times are not as bad if the language is in Japanese. So for some reason, the language is causing it to lag a whole bunch more when you uh, open different parts, and the more names, and I guess it's because it's definitely related to that because the more names there are on the map, the longer it takes to load. Like, it doesn't take very long to load the space-time rift because there's only two things. This is unfortunate, too, because I don't need present. I need antiquity. That makes so little sense. It does make so little sense. I have no idea why that's the way it is. Uh, somebody figured this out. <laughs> and, uh, you know, weird, weird things happen sometimes, so. It really does, the map loading time does really seem to be tied to how many locations are on that map. For some reason, I think it's doing something unnecessary in loading the names. This should be Cyrus. Of course, I am no programmer, so I would not know. You totally believe it? 
What is this quest right next to his? Ah, it's Dry. We're not talking Dry right now. Sadness of a Hunter. Thyrus's quest. Thyrus has returned to antiquity after a long absence. He receives a letter from a person he's been searching for for a long time. The under the influence of Riptiras. Phew. Wow, the air certainly is clear in these parts. Somehow it feels almost familiar. It's almost like anything could happen here. Although I have a request. Request. I'd like to go and talk to the blacksmith. News may have come in while I was busy on this personal errand. Okay, let's go to the blacksmiths. Oh yeah, sight and quest accepted music. To feel all excited about doing quests. I guess is what you want your quest uh, quest accepted music to do. You want it to be like, yeah, go do that quest. This is not the blacksmith. This this is the this is the straw dummy. Hey Cyrus, long time no see. Have you been traveling somewhere? That is a long story. One that is best saved for when everything has reached its conclusion. Okay, though I have to say you've piqued my interest. Cyrus, have you ever been the recipient of a grudge? I don't know what you mean. Well, while you were away, I was visited a number of times. They always wanted to see you. You were a bit of a shady character, it has to be said. We just took care of some goblin. Maybe this character is connected to him in some way. Speak of the devil. Look, a customer. Are you Cyrus? At last we meet. Hmm, so you're the mysterious visitor. You have some business with me. Hair is in my eye and it's itchy. I am but the messenger. There is someone who wants to meet with you. I see. Well, I see no reason why I should come when summoned like some pup. What if I were to tell you that the one waiting for you is the one you have been searching for? What? Varn? Where? Where is Varn? Tell me. Waiting at your house. Man-eating marsh. Okay. Aldo, we need to go to get to the mar man-eating marsh now. <laughs> the man-eating marsh is just his house. <laughs> You know, it's, it's nice and peaceful. People don't go there. I don't know why it brings up this pop. I, I guess it does bring up the pop out. Just you, know. you don't have an option to say no. I don't want to accidentally hop in this boat when you accidentally hop in it. That's where we start. Then. We'll uh, we'll discuss that after. After we do Cyrus's quest and help him, him do things. That's not sinister at all. Varn! Cyrus, long time no see. I had heard the stories, but I didn't believe it until now. A frog. I've been searching for you, Varn, for so long. Yes, I'm well aware of how you've been chasing after me. I was hoping you'd give up one day. Never thought you'd go to such lengths to get back the secret texts. Varn, you know I have to right any wrong, no matter how much time passes. I am not the Varn I once was. The Varn you knew is no more. Barn. Cyrus, where have you hidden it? I assume you still have it. Not here. I've hidden it somewhere safe. Go retrieve it, Cyrus. Give it to me, and I'll return the stolen text. I'll wait for you on the Corinda Plains. Barn. It's gone. Made the screen fade out so he could disappear. What should we do, Cyrus? Are you going to make the trade? Thing that Varn wants, it's buried by a rock next to Lake Tilen. Need to go get it first. Okay, then we should head to Lake Tilen. Back upstairs we go. I can't okay, Lake Tilen is. Lake Tilen is. Between. It's between Actual and. Uh, Rattle, I believe. I always want to press M to open the map. It does not work. I don't know how you open the map with the keyboard. There probably is a key short, and I could fake shortcut, and I could figure it out if I tried. But I have not tried, so I do not know. Here we go, Lake Tillen. I don't know what that is in the background there. I wish you could go to it. It looks really cool. But 
like there's no way to get to it. What is it? Why is it so far away? Why is it so cool? I want to visit it. Maybe you can. I do not like is it. I, I don't I don't like them. Ugh. Let's keep it up. A castle for me. But it looks so cool. I don't even know if it is a castle because there's a castle like right over there at a uh, palace. Palace. So neat. Around here somewhere. Squirrel Cyrus just went over here, dug a hole, and buried something. Dug up the texts. Texts. This is what he wanted. Yes. Look at his puffy pants. Inku Gizairyu. Once upon a time, I was a swordsman in the lands to the east. Varn and I were students under the same swordmaster. Ten years ago now. For two ancient texts about the Inku Gizairyu style of, fight, of sword fighting that we were learning. Anyone who possessed both texts would have the secrets to the ultimate technique. One day Varn took one of the texts and ran away. I'm not sure what had transpired between him and our teacher, but Varn has always been an impetuous person. Perhaps it is because I was entrusted with the other text that he did this. He must have been resentful, especially as he was always the better fighter. I left my country in search of Varn and my travels led me here. Cyrus. I guess we're not collective. Hmm, shall we head to the Corinda Plains? I have to finish this saga with Varn one way or another. Corinda Plains, yeah, that I'll open the map for because that's kind of far away. I think what we'll do is we'll just go to the Tower of Stars and then find it from there. It should work fine. I like to go the Cor the Corinda the Corinda Plains and the Karuri High Road. I'll go to the Tower of Time and the Tower of Stars to easily reach them. But sometimes it's actually easier to go from Palsipal Palace to the Corinda Plains if it's on. It must be up, up top because I don't see it. That's gorgeous. Look at these giant glowing mushrooms. Gorgeous. Corinda Plains are lovely. It also used to be one of the areas that gave me a whole lot of trouble. Okay, I guess we'll fight that horror since it's in the way. I, I like these little fire spirits. Well, there, there's one for each of the elements. Uh, they, they look cool. I like their design. Yorzavella. 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 I don't know. Weird bird things. Not beaks. Just, just teeth. I'm pretty sure this is a big one of them. <gasps> Have I collected this cat? Kitty, be mine. I got Ribe. Okay, now we'll go fight that horror. Hey, well, first we'll kill these guys. Then we'll fight the horror. Very nice, very nice. Oh, this won't be so difficult. It's like a bird body with wings, and then instead of a head, its face is just right here. I don't like it very much. It's scary. <laughs> Why is everything scary? I mean, I guess, I guess it's good when the enemies are scary because if they're too cute, then you feel really bad about killing them. So I guess you know, there's trade-offs. Well, that sounds great. I don't know why they get a French accent. I mean, I guess because she likes to say things in French. Presumably because she thinks it's cool. But, uh, I like her. But I've gotten used to- I used to find Cyrus's voice very strange, but I've gotten used to it. I didn't mean to use Summer's gift twice in a row, but it's fine. Caramus is strong. He will defeat everyone who stands in our way. Stars. It is a little weird that the time of day is tied to your location. It kind of laugh a little bit. I guess it would be kind of a pain to do a, like a changing time of day though, because this is all you know, drawing drawings basically. You'd have to do different lighting versions of everything. I have it here. Very well, and I have mine. 
I'm sorry, but I'll never give it up. If you want it, you'll have to kill me. Darn, you have it all wrong. Cyrus, I just wanted to be strong. I didn't want to lose to you. That's why. <sighs> they gotta do an anime battle. Cyrus! Darn, it's not too late. You can still fix this. No, there's no turning back, Cyrus. It's too late. No, stop. Darn, brother. It's no use, Cyrus. I sold my soul to that demoness Reptiris. Cannot disobey her commands. I'm just another one of her puppets now. Brother, come back to me. What's taking so long, Varn? Get a move on. Okay, they were gonna have to swap sides. Oh yeah, you know, we gotta make sure that the enemy's on this side, and we're on this side. This guy's here because you very rarely fight humans. Dot dot dot. I see, very well. If you are refusing to do it... <laughs> Fancy pose going on. Mm. Cyrus, watch out. Go jump in the way, Varn. Quad. Brother. Varn, you betrayed me. Too bad it changes nothing. You. That's one brother down, now it's your turn, Cyrus. Which is underling? Keep off them, uh... Let's switch Helena in out for uh, Amy because Helena is almost dead. No one can I thought that was going to be harder. <laughs> Arn, why? I was sick, very sick. I didn't have long to live. I just wanted to see you again, Cyrus. I'm sorry, Arn, brother. Oh no, he's one with the Force now. Brother. Chris, I understand his desire for me to be the one to stop him, but so unfair. Tragic? Yes, indeed. Poor Cyrus, he has quite the tragic little life. Cyrus, are you alright? Don't worry, I'll be fine. Come, let us go home. Yeah, let's go back. Okay, got it. Straw dummy. They said home. I was like, do we need to go back to the uh, swamp? I guess we just gotta go back to the straw dummy. Not the man eating marsh. Just like an underground swamp. I don't know what it is, but it's very cool. Okay, let's report back to the straw dummy. if we have enough skill points to level up Cyrus. Fine. I see. So, Varn, I'm sorry, Cyrus. Hmm. I had no choice. Besides, I'm glad I got to speak with him one last time. At last, my journey has reached an end. But as one story comes to its close, another one is just beginning. Of course, you're right. Don't worry, you will face her one day. Hmm. If that is so, then it is still a long way off. Still not over the sentient punching bags? Don't worry about it. It's it's fine. As long as you don't think about it too much. Okay, and now but what we Oh now we can play okay. What I was gonna say is now that we uh we finish some other stuff, I was gonna let you decide which episode we should do. Uh but not those ones. We can do Absolute Zero Chain, is in the future. We can do the Thousand Year Arc of the Ocean Palace, which is an antiquity. Time Mine and the Dreamers, which is in the present. And the Celestial Tower and the Shadow Witch, which is also an antiquity. Uh, we get new characters off of these. All of them not terribly useful until later. We need to... Uh, oh, Absolute Chain Zero, you have to do that be able to do this one because that's the second part of it and then you have to do that one to do this one which is the third part of it i'm not sure what we need to do to forget that it opens i forget i don't know what we need to do to be able to do this one i think we i think we have to finish um 
the Ogre Wars to do that one. This is kind of a second part to the Deirdre one. That's the newest episode. I was thinking one of these three. Okay, you want to do the Celestial Tower. Alright, um, we'll do the Celestial Tower then. I wonder if it's still incredibly blocked to the story. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta finish the Ogre Wars, I think, to get to that one, and then we have to do that to do your stuff. So for now, we're doing the Celestial Tower and the Shadow Witch. On the doorstep of the Great Continent is a desert island. It is said that within a tower that reaches the heavens is a snake monster that turns all those who look upon it into stone. Some say that its power causes the very ground around it to wither and die. The time was 20,000 years ago when this land was covered in lush green. Outcast get people gathered in this place, wandering around searching for someone. One seeks their mother, one looks to plunder, one hunts an enemy. Their fate is to cross time and find resolution in the tower that reaches the heavens. Meanwhile, the Shadow Witch smiles maliciously and a voice calls. Charl Plain. I've visited Sarupa. That would pose a problem. Uh, don't crash on me. All is well. I think to get to Sarupa, I need to go to present. Need to go to... I forget the name of the city that's there, but I need to go there. Zarbo. We need to go to Zarbo. Fear not, we will find a way to the Celestial Tower. I've heard the mainlanders have been ramping up the fight against the Beast Horde. Once visited Unigan and Miglan's castle with my late husband. I hope things don't get too bad, I don't want any more people to lose their lives. I explored this area very much. We don't have to come here for the Maybe later, not now. Okay. Cat. Hello there. Oh, I've already collected. Not collected this sparkle. Sparkles respawn every so many hours. I forget how many. I've seen my husband. He's been losing lots of things, so I went outside to look for them. I still don't think that antique was so valuable. Don't get him sometime. I'll admit all these things going missing is a bit strange. Maybe it's because of that thing after all. See that doll by the bed? Ever since my husband found it, strange things have been happening. So weird. Maybe we should throw it away. Not a doll, that's a straw dummy. There we go. Knew we could get to the past from here. Quite remember how that is a tiny cactus. Well, that's concerning. Don't worry about the straw dummy that you just have to touch it and it magically, uh it magically opens a time time portal rift. <laughs> okay, now we can travel to Sarupa. Darn it. Kindly townsfolk. I'm going to collect your cats. That is not a cat, that is a child. <gasps> no, Pluto is adorable! I'm sorry, uh, Abisha, I'm gonna take Pluto with us for a bit. Oh, she's a fluff. Oh, she's so fluffy. Cats in the past, or, or, in, or in antiquity, I mean, are... <gasps> oh, look at this one! Look at Telco! Look at her face! Oh, she's adorable. Okay, uh, back to what we were doing. Oh yeah, we need to go to the Charl Plains, which are over there. Next to Sarupa. I just got very distracted by cats because they're adorable. See what we have. Let's see. Okay, over oh, over by one of the cats. That cat then. Convenient. We'll collect the other cat later. These these are terrifying. 
guess I say that about everything. Uh, I am easily terrified. But I really don't like those weird little pumpkin spirits. I don't even know if they're supposed to be pumpkins, but they scare me. <laughs> and Bobos are alright, they're not terrifying. Aw, Isaac! He's a girl cat. He's a very cute cat. Okay, now we will start the, the tower. Tower witch, that's not what it's called. The Celestial Tower. As Aldo walks through the grassy knoll, he encounters a small figure being attacked by monsters. The person seems to be a looking person. It's so cute. This waterfall always takes my breath away. Just look at it. Wow. Although, how can it always take your breath away? This is the first time we're seeing it. <laughs> We've never been here before. Indeed, it is a magnificent sight. Made even more exquisite by the rainbow stretching over the raging waterfall. It is very lovely. Oh. Curses. Aldo, look. Huh? Oh, he's sad. Over there, look. Monsters are attacking that child. Well, don't worry about the continuity. Uh, I'm sure time travel will uh, explain any issues. Quick, we must act before before the poor youngster comes to harm. I'm on. Oh. Po po. Po po. I er. Ah. Ow. Co. That was not in dialogue. Warg. I just harassed it, the child, until it attacked them. Oh. You okay? Ow, po po. It ran away. Hey, wait. It ran away. Looks like we frightened it. Led towards the waterfall. Seems terrified. Let us ensure no harm befalls the child. Yes, we better check it out. Massive mace to fit under your cloak. Uh, like a TARDIS cloak. You can fit as much as you want in it. This time we've got to be careful not to spook the kid. Charl planes are quite lovely. The environments are so nice. What's that puddle back there? It looks a little... I think it's not meant to be this zoomed in this close on. Uh oh. My word, who'd have thought there was a cave such as this behind the waterfall? Phew, it seems to be alright. Sorry about earlier. We were just trying to help you, but we just scared you off. Aldo, this is a Nopau. The Nopau clan does not speak the human tongue. Human tongues, sorry. Oh, really? Anyway, I just wanted to apologize. Don't worry about it. All right, then. We'll be off. Dot, dot, dot. Huh? Did I just imagine it, or did this notepad just speak to me? It was not your imagination, for I heard it too. Er, do you want something from me? It speaks. That reaction time lol. Hmm, so some notepads can speak our language. This is news to me too. I have encountered many a Nopau. Nopau- Nopaui? Nopau. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you will notice it's just weapon backwards. However, none of them could speak. Usually, they're bold as brass, so this one is all the more unusual. Kinda like little Jawa people, but with leaf hair. I like it. Interesting. You're super adorable. Pardon me, but you seem rather timid and unsuited to fighting. What are you doing alone in here? Um, well, searching for my mom. Got separated from her? No, she disappeared many years ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Cyrus, know what I'm thinking? Aye, we are of the same mind. Only a man with no honor would ignore a child in need of help. Little Nopau, allow us to be of assistance. Mean it? Sure we do. I'm Aldo, and this is Cyrus. What is your name? Name? Something amiss. It's just that we know Pau do not have names. It has been forbidden since ancient times. Goodness me, that seems most inconvenient. 
In that case, we'll have to do without it. Where have you searched for your mom? Have you been to the Sarupa yet? No? Crowds of people make me anxious. Even Sarupa is too crowded for you to dare to set foot there? I can't imagine how you'd survive a visit to a larger city. Don't worry, you've got us. Let's go to Sarupa first. Nearby, okay? Pao has joined your party as a guest. Now we must help him on his quest to be reunited with his mama. Very lovely indoor rainbow. Ah, oh, the water sounds very lovely. Wait, okay. Head back to Rupa. Boom, bo, bo. And one of those demonic pumpkin things. I don't think they're pumpkins, but the color is orange. And I can only think of oranges, carrots, and pumpkins. Radica. I'm not gonna go talk to her. Okay, right at the entrance to the front. Very convenient. Is this a village? Will there be lots of people? Don't worry, we'll do the asking around. Yeah. That person lost. This looks like the right place. It's got to be this village. My cards never lie. But the fortune seems so far-fetched. A giant bipedal frog in a suit of armor armed with a sword. Does it really exist? No. Hmm, I feel as if someone's eyes were boring into me. It's a giant frog. It's really there. Excuse me. The word witch ring a bell to you. My fate has indeed been twisted and tangled by a certain witch in fact. How did you know about this? Ha, huh, my cards never lie. The reading was correct. Tell me about her. Where can I find this evil witch? Where is Reptart hiding? Reptart? A curious name for a witch. I do not know anyone of that name. What? Then, did I misread my cards? Chance you have the wrong frog. Very much doubt that. <laughs> if you don't know about her, do you have any family living nearby? Looking for a frogman, aren't you? Last of my family, only I have been cursed with this appearance. Really? Why are you looking for this witch anyway? My name's Radica. I am a fortune teller. The cards told me to look for a fro look for a person like him to find clues about the witch. Blessed, not cursed. <laughs> I mean, he is extremely adorable. I have a few questions for you, if that's okay. And if there's anything you'd like me to, me to ask my cards about, just say the word. Ask us anything you want. Actually, if you could divine for us the whereabouts of this kid's mother, that'd be fantastic. Oh. This a uh, no pal. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Speak to me, my dear dear uh, speak to me, my dear cards. Show me what I'm looking for. Yes, yes, I saw something. Oh. All the clues you need are to be found in this village, it seems. Are they indeed? How fortunate for us to have come this way. We better start asking around. Yep, let's get to it. If you had a chance to change your fate, would you? Then Meredith's voice from Brave about turning into a frog. <coughs> oh dear. Let me come with you. My cards have led me to you for a reason. Maybe when you find what you're looking for, so will I. Alright, come along. Let's talk to the villagers and see what we discover. She will only come along in story because we do not have her in, in uh, I was going to say in real life, but we do not have her in our party. In our, not our party, in our group. Do you know the Reptart song? My mother used to sing it to me all the time. Can you get her? You can get Radica, but it's in through the gotcha. It's also not very good. It used to be really bad, but I think she has a manifest now, so maybe she's not as bad? Do you know the Reptart song? My mother used to sing it to me all the time. 
plain forest is not a plain forest. The maze forest, not amazing forest. Wayward sons get carried on by hungry ghosts. Plain forest is not a plain forest. Great goblin ghosts, which way, which host? The long sweethearts, mm-hmm, sweet tarts. Eh, <laughs> I listened in on the grown-ups talking. They said that monsters turn the tarts into stone and eat them like crumbly biscuits. What? Stone would taste horrible. I definitely prefer sweet tarts. Grayest version is very powerful. Very cool. I do not have that either. I have ne so I've never used uh, I've never used Reyes. There's a dense forest in the middle of the plains. However, apparently there was a child who once went in there and never returned. Since then, entry to the forest is forbidden. To keep children away from the forest. We invented a scary song. I heard that someone went there recently. Surely you've heard about it too. Can't always trust gossip, but I'm worried the forest might have claimed another victim. You seem to be adventurers. If you go by that forest and see anyone there, please warn them. Mega forest is like a maze. Tell them to keep away from it, lest misfortune befall them. I shall do so. Because I assume we have to go there. You don't just mention a dangerous forest and then not go there in an RPG. Rildi and Sitaka have left for the mainland. I'm sure they'll be perfectly fine, but I never thought they'd leave the village. I guess it was an age thing. That's old news. They've been seen back in the village, apparently. I guess the mainland didn't live up to their expectations and they got homesick. Well, we should be glad that we're not losing our young generation to the big cities. Okay. One more person back here. This adorable kitty. Invade their home and ask questions of this old man. Lovely sunlight he's got. You know, I used to change real these diapers. I can't believe how much she's grown. Grown up into such a wonderful, beautiful woman. Well, that's the way she was raised, I guess. Yes, but she hasn't been looking well lately. Some people say that the reason she went to the mainland with Sataka was to see the big city doctors. Hope it's nothing serious. Teleported outside. Now I can't loot that old man's house. So far, our search has been rather unproductive. I do not think that any inf that inf I do not think that information is of any use. Are you sure we can find anything about this Nopao's mother here? My cards were clear about it. The info is here, definitely on this side. This side. Never mind. Anyway, my card readings have generally been accurate since I became a dark elf. You became a what? Dot dot dot. Anyway, I just want you to trust me on this. Alright, you know what you're doing. Well, did you find anything? No, not really. Oh, I see. Divination is not an exact science. It offers hints and gentle nudges towards what you're looking for. If you ask the right questions, you'll get your answers, but it's not like reading the future. Thank you for helping me. I trust your fortune telling. My mom was also really into it. Oh, she was. Teehee. I'm somehow cheered by that. If there's anything at all relevant in what we've heard so far, it would be the rumors about Vega Forest. Indeed, it sounded rather eerie. It may be worth taking a look at this ominous forest. I believe we can get to the Vega Forest from the Charl Plains. Let's go. We can pick up that other cat on the way. Yeah. To collect all the cats. Like Pokemon. Except, I was gonna say, except you can't level them, but there's that cat mode that I don't think we've unlocked yet. So basically, it's just like Pokemon. Except for all the ways it's not. Wish to die? Step forward. Okay, we are. We're going in. That's fine. It'll it'll we work out. The same cause. It'll all be fine. It's lovely, lovely trees. Lovely clouds as well. Sparkle, I need to collect that so I can make my people some better gear. You will fall okay, I don't like the pigs with the spikes and the leg. I don't know what's. Oh, darn it. That was not what I meant to do. I don't know what. I don't know what's going on with those pigs, but they scare me a lot. The Charles Plains look very nice, but the creatures here are terrifying. Rakatoto. Aw, Rakatoto is so cute. Looks so happy. 
I forgot to get that garnet. And then I think right down this way was where we go to get in the forest. I don't think you can go into the forest you until you start this. Well. Look here. All of our abilities got reset because I accidentally used another forest. That's unfortunate. We're also leveling up uh, Vine in the back. Why not? So she's gonna be capped at uh, four star. Well, she's not even four. Star. She's three stars right now. But once we get her up to four stars, she's gonna be stuck there for quite a while. Oh, pal. Oh, Koro. Koru. Oh, Kuru. Pow, pow. Not sure how you're supposed to use your words. Look, there are no pals right there. Radica's cards were right. We seem to be discussing something surrounding a stone statue. It sounds like they carried the statue out of the forest. Oh, that's right. You can understand them. It's so unusual to have a Nopau interpreter. Wasn't aware of the Nopau clan's penchant for statues. Mostly weapons and traps that appeal to us, not objects of art. <coughs> Excuse me. Water. Although we go by the rule of finders keepers and pick up all sorts of things. I do that too, I guess. Oh, well, you can't judge a book by its cover. Anyway, maybe they can shed some light on the whereabouts of your mom. Huh? Oh yeah, I'll go and ask them, but I won't get my hopes up. Hey, don't be so pessimistic. Er, erm. Oh. Po po pow ku po po. Po po pow. Pow pew po. Ku ku po. No, ko ku po. Po oh. Oh. oh no, they ran away. What happened? I hope they didn't get spooked by our presence. Dot dot dot. They fled the moment they saw our little friend approaching, even though he's one of them. Wonder what this fine statue was doing in the forest. It's exquisitely detailed. True math. True mass. He said a true masterpiece, but I think he means a true math. Yeah, it looks so realistic you'd almost expect it to come alive. Give back. Huh? Give back what's mine. From when springs this voice? Just a bunch of snakes. Eek snakes. Is this what I think it is? It may be venomous, watch out. Time to fight these snakes Brace fair and yourselves. square. Fair and square, I mean. Time to make her run to the back line. Because she's out of MP and she needs to regen if she's to kill them. Ah! Taking massive damage! They are poisonous. Well, they're not poisonous. They're venomous. They bit them and now they are poisoned. Come on, guys. You can do it. Fainy, come to the front line. You must be a sacrificial offering to the enemies. Fainy, I'm sorry. I think her name's supposed to be. Okay. <clears throat> front line again. I have not leveled up any of Fine's abilities, so she is not good. Also, she is dead. Okay, Tiramis, down to you. And Helena. I'm gonna send Helena to the front line to eat some attacks. Would you like to test my power? Oh. Helena's down. Okay. We got this. We did. We actually did get that. I need a something a little sure. concerned we actually did not have that there. Oh no, it's an infinite quantity of snakes. There's no end to them. Look, over there. What's that? Give back. My cherished... What is it? Some foul monster. Oh. Where are you going? 
pretty snake? Oh, they are. They are pretty. If we lose sight of him, we may not find him again in this maze. Quick after him. At the double. I'm beeping at me. Important. All is well. Popo. What a terrifying experience. I nearly froze in fear. How did it come to this? We were just looking for a little Nopal's mom. Seems like we got the wrong address unless you're going to tell me it was that monster. Perhaps it was that perhaps it was what Radica was searching for. Could that monster have been the witch we are after? No, it wasn't her. I really have no idea how this monster fits into this puzzle. So many unknowns. In that case, I've got to do it again. Huh? Time to shuffle my deck and try again. Um, okay. It's safe now, you can come out. Thank you. Do you have an item with a strong connection to your mom? Is our friend the witch? Papa? No, he's not a witch. He's a child. Don't think so. Or it is a child. I actually don't know if it's he. But I'm gonna call it a he. Yeah. But the tree behind the waterfall meant a lot to us. The tree behind the waterfall. That's where we met for the first time. Okay, so how about we go there? I may be able to get a better card reading. Sure, it's in the northern part of the Charl Plains. Sparkle. My sparkle. Back to the back to the waterfall tree. Defeated our first poison snake. Oh, I guess this is the end of the first part? Not sure. It's really beautiful here. So, this is the place of memories for you and your mom. Yes, we planted this tree together, my mom, dad, and I. Where is your father now? He... he passed away. My apologies. Don't worry about it. Well, let's find your mom. Okay. Let's begin. This time, I'll find us more useful clues, I promise. I see it. This symbolizes a tower. This, this is sand, like on a beach. Or perhaps a desert. A desert. Hmm. There's more. Some images seem to indicate a faraway future. They overlap. Wonder what it means. My guess is that th that's the eastern desert from my time. It stretches around the same area as the Charol Plains here. Surely that would be too much to be a mere coincidence. Hold on, your timeline? What do you mean by that? Um, it's kind of difficult to explain. Best if you just see it with your own eyes. Hmm, I knew there was something odd about you guys. It seems my hunch was on point. But, are you sure you want to come with us? You have your own witch to find, after all. It's fine. Take me with you. But... Told you before, didn't I? My cards have led me to you, so you are sure to lead me to what I am looking for. Alright, then. Let's travel to this desert in the future. Desert. This takes me back. We used to live in a desert long ago. Seems like we're on the right track. Perhaps we'll find your mother in this desert. Let's go to the desert region in my time far in the future. Hulu. Now her we do have. Teehee. Now that's interesting. I'd like to come too. Don't burn my party, I guess. The back line. Where the underleveled and useless belong. Just at level 55. Okay, we are uh, not exactly at the suggested level. It hurts. Please help me. Mommy, help. It hurts. Ooh, okay, we cleared those guided by the cycle of time. 
that's the next part. No, oh, I gotta wait for the map to open. Close. Following Radica's guidance, Aldo and the party head to the present day desert. They ultimately find the mother of the no clan. clan. Remember. I don't I doubt his mother is the mother of a whole clan. Let's get to the village of Zarbo in my timeline first. It's right next to the desert. It strikes me as a little odd though. If you lived in the desert in the future, what were you doing in a different timeline? I don't know. I was taken from my home to the zippy zappy thing. Zippy zappy. Ah, a wormhole. Let's just go to the desert and hope for the best. Yep, the tower in the desert seems like the most promising place to check. I'll just put some of our better characters in the party. They'll, they'll probably be able to handle enemies better than uh, for uh, four people. Or mostly three stars still. Not Glen's Castle. Not two knights. Here we go. Party five. This will be our Celestial Tower party. Cyrus. It's important. Tiramis, because she is strong, although these guys are a bit tough for her. But the Coco. And the enemies are earth type or not? They're not Nikemite. Um, good old friends. Ring. Ah! Rolling faster than I want them to. No, stop! Stop leaving me! We want Aldo? Uh, who else? Do we have here. Put her Deirdre back here so she can get some experience. want her to level up and not be stuck at level 33. Okay. Now we gotta travel to Zarbo, which we should be able to travel to from the map because I went to went to the Rikyan stands. If not, we can just go to uh Sympydra and it'll be able to take us there. Present day. Very tired for some reason. Good, we can go to Zarbo. I wasn't sure because I went to the desert, but I if I hadn't actually gone to Zarbo, then we wouldn't be able to fast travel there. <gasps> Cats, have I collected you, my cat friends? I apparently have. As long as we're here, we should take a rest. We have the mana. The MP. Additional Zarbo Sand Bath. Yes, we will do that. Hmm. Giddy. Okay. Be restored. <laughs> Back out onto the adventure we go. to the desert. Is okay, we need to go over there. There's a horror in the way, but we should be able to just kill it because it's blue. Shouldn't pose too much of a threat. I can handle this alone. Sorry to Coco, but much much like Cyrus when he says he could do that, uh Tiramis is just gonna do all the work. past this guy. Oh, look at this. Gotta fight this golem. Golem? We will lose if we hesitate. An iron thing. It resists ash. Swap Aldo and for whatever their valor chance are. Let's fight till the end. Wow. And then we'll swap them back out. Push forward. 
like the suits of armor under the city and the well. Oh yeah, it does. The uh, the same kind of uh, thing. Shit. Oh, fuck these two back in. And twin dragons. Oh, that's another thing we can do. Is we can start working on getting Gar. You. I don't have any you what darkness looks yet. like. We need a type zone setter. For her. I think that's. I think she has her best potential when she has a type zone setter. Rare. Almost there. Come on, can you guys finish it off? Almost, though. Almost. This guy's just smacked. Did it die? It did. It did die. Wonderful. It was gonna be kind of a pain if it didn't die. I had to take a turn because I was lazy. Here we are. Celestial Tower. Oh, a tower standing in a sea of sand. It's exactly what I saw in the cards. It just goes up and up. How big is it? Uh, very. Obscured by the clouds, so it's impossible to tell where it ends. I know this tower. I used to live nearby. Her -her. Turn off my air conditioner. A little cold. Oh, great. Radica, you're an amazing fortune teller. So, which was your home? Can you really handle this? Yeah, I've got this. Don't worry. Huh? Who are these two? You said you were a treasure hunter, eh? Nothing much of interest in this wasteland, as far as I can see. It's a desert. What do you expect? No trees left to cut down, just barren land all the way to the horizon. Woodcutter who cut all that down was quite something, eh? Huh? Woodcutter. There's one thing left standing that no one else was a match for. Fine then, I may be just an ordinary woodcutter, but I ain't afraid of nothing. Dude, what on earth are you talking about? Huh? You said to clear the way for you, so I'm gonna cut this tower down. That's not what I meant. I just need you to get this door open so that I can get inside. Same thing, no? If I bring it down, you'll be able to get oh, you'll be able to get inside all right. You can't cut down a tower. Hey, mister. This doesn't look like a job for a woodcutter. That's so. Why the heck did you hire me? Don't know what this fellow here was thinking, but I'm a simple woodcutter. I'm off to look for a job I can do with my axe. What was wrong with him? You're looking to break into this tower, is that right? Well, yes, I scour the land looking for treasure. This tower caught my eye. It's said to be inhabited by a terrifying monster, a snake woman called Medusa. She guards a unique ruby, the only one of its kind in the whole world. It's a priceless gem. Ah, so you're hoping to get your hands on that ruby. Tales of monsters protecting rare treasure are usually made up, though. Keyword here is usually. In the case of this tower, it seems legit. Before the rise of the Miglance dynasty, there was some other dynasty in power, whatever they were called. Anyway, I checked it out, and it was the previous dynasty which commissioned this tower to seal an evil creature inside. Hmm. It would seem that the monster posed a threat on the national scale. My guess is that the monster is none other than Medusa. This tower is now known as the Dogma Tower. The door is locked with a strange mechanism that no lockpick seems to work on. But I'm not going to give up. Medusa's ruby will be mine. Off he runs. Oh, strangers scare me. I relate to this child. Well, he didn't seem like such a bad guy. It was an unexpected distraction. Didn't you say that your house used to be here somewhere? I'd already forgotten that's what we were looking for. Yes, it must have been around here. Let's see if we can find it. I'm sure your mom will be there. Huh? She will? She is likely worried sick about you, awaiting your return home. I hope so. My house was that way, I think. Dang it, phone. Stop vibrating the microphone. South of here? All right. Oh, right! 
wait! Lulu was supposed to go in the party! Goodness, I immediately forget what I said. Oof, what an eerie tower. Was it erected to seal away the feud? Food. Who knows? <laughs> What's wrong? Don't worry, silly. Of course it's okay. I promise to make your wish come true, and I keep my word. Let's fix this grave oversight on my part immediately. We'll just dump Deirdre, I guess. Sorry, Deirdre. We got we gotta run uh, we gotta run Lulu. We know we don't have Ben. Let's see, do we have Benedict? But since he didn't have his name, we do not have. Hey, Lulu. I don't think we have Radica. Her name was a question mark. If you already have. If you already have met people, then their name isn't Mark. Oh well. That just means it'll take longer to uh, get all the episode points. But we can cope with that just fine. So I do believe that uh, this one is a bit of a slog. I wonder, it depends if the progress is still gated behind getting enough of whatever the um, source is for this episode. If it's still getting behind that, it could take us a while to finish. And by a while, I mean we'll need some. I, th I think we need some to go up the tower or open the tower. I forget. It's been a long while. Hmm. Here it is. You mean this hole in the ground? Yes, this is the way to my home. You um don't want us to jump into that hole, do you? That's how you get to my home. You jump into the hole. If you're scared, I'll go first. Ooh, they have a sandy sound. Let's make this leap of faith, guys. We have to. Here I go. Little underground cave area with some plants. Whoa, we're under the desert. Clearly they're not making maximum use of space. Arg, the sand is getting everywhere. If they're not putting uh, caves under every single location. Is this your hometown? Uh-huh. Feel like we're getting close to finding your mom. Time to ask around. Ah, ask around here. One has purple eyes. Pretty. You spare us a moment. We're searching for this little one's mother. Oh. Pow, pow, po, 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 pow. Po, po, po. Po, 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 po. I don't know how to differentiate the pose. What? White. It doesn't seem as if they're getting along. Yeah, I think that one's having a panic attack. Ow! They said that white is scary. Hmm? Well, it seems our friend is very particular. No, pal. Peculiar, sorry. It's no use, we shall... Did he say peculiar or particular? It's no use, we shall have to find someone else to ask. These beautiful baskets of fruits, I think? Sure why they have them, but they do. Hello there. This one's got orange eyes. Excuse me, do you know this no pow's mother? Popo. Pow pow po 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 pow. Po pow 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 po. Po pow po. What did he say? Um, what's a mother? Hmm? What? Po po pow. Huh? What about the leaves? Dot dot dot. Something wrong. Po pow. Po pow po. They don't want to talk to me. Oh. Let's ask someone else.
There is one more of them. Yeah. Hello, do you know this Nopo's mom? Popo. Pow pow, po 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 pow. Po po po. Po po pow poo. Huh. What was that? Um, what's that? You look weird. Weird. Were they talking about your white leaves? Po po pow. Po. Po 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 po. I misread that. Sorry, I won't bother you again. Da, da, da. No, it doesn't look like anyone here knows about his mom. We'd just be wasting our time. Why were you so sure my mom would be here? Why, you used to live in this town, so I thought chances were she might still be here. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. You used to live together, no? Poku? No, she's never been here, as far as I know. What? I'm really confused now. No pals don't live with their parents. Everyone lives alone. Good heavens. Wait, seems we've attracted a lot of attention. What do they want? Why are they surrounding us like this? Clearly they've come to stone you to death. Po pow, po, 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 po. How did they get raised? Uh, maybe they just live with a bunch of unrelated- Maybe they live on their own and just get raised by their village. I, I don't know. They're very strange creatures. They're saying, be gone, white leaves. Don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Cool. Oh. They are gonna stone him. No, stop. Why are they so hostile? We better get out of here fast. This is madness, attacking us unprovoked. Run, everyone. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't know why I read your comment in my, uh... My reading people's voices. Voice? Why are they doing this? We're obviously friends with one of them. Why would they attack us? I don't know, maybe the part where they seem to really dislike his leaves? Calm down, Aldo. I have a suspicion. Certain suspicion. Our little friend here was, has white leaves. Have you ever seen any other Nopal with white leaves? Not that I remember, no. Come to think of it, I haven't either. They were all scared of the white leaves. It reminded me of what I experienced myself once. Elves in my village were all afraid of dark elves. When I broke the taboo and became a dark elf, they immediately started treating me with fear and hatred. Could be the same case here. Racism. I suppose so. If the Nopal white leaves mark an outca outcast who have become tainted in some way, their reaction makes sense. Became a dark elf? Yes, she was originally a normal elf, and then she became a dark elf. Although actually, I think- I was gonna say I think most of the elves are in the game are dark elves, but actually there's two regular elves and two dark elves. No, no, there's three dark elves. Oh, the dark elves actually outnumber the regular elves in uh, the characters I know of. Getting tanning beds. <laughs> <laughs> she broke the taboo and got a tan. You said no pals live alone without their parents. Yeah. What if having family is taboo for your kind? Not be allowed to be with your family? It's just a theory. No pal customs are very different from both elven and human ways of life. I was so certain that your mother would be among her fellow no pals. My mom is human. My dad too. You probably should have mentioned that earlier. And they say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, but this apple never came from a tree. That explains why my fortune telling was so ambiguous. But now that I have this new information, my next card reading will be more accurate. Since your mom was human, she must have had a name. I don't know her name. No pals don't use names. We just call everyone Poe. I called my mom Poe too. Okay then, close your eyes and think of your mom. Imagine what she looked like. Okay, I'll try. Radica does have purple hair, that I, which is pretty cool, but... It's also, well, it's, it's more of a pinkish purple hair. It's also a bit annoying. Sorry. 
I'm sorry, Radica fans. Hints of Mother and Suggestions of Tower together with Witch. Uh oh. That would be Dogma Tower, I suppose. Which houses the Snake Woman Medusa, supposedly. Yes, I guess so, but what does that have to do with his mom? The quickest way to find out is to break into the tower and see for ourselves. Yet, even that treasure hunter was unable to get in. Got to be a way to open the lock. Maybe someone in Zarbo knows about the tower. My backyard, and I don't know they are. Okay, we gotta go ask about the... Ask about the tower. Probably, uh, stop streaming whenever I figure out how to get into the tower. A little cat scratch fever. I get tired easily. Mostly my voice gets tired. Pets, please. What's this? Sandstone. I think there's a- I think there's a lot of sandstone around here, actually. That is not the way out of the desert. Just go pick up sandstone by the- I was gonna say by the bushel, but I don't know- I don't think sandstone comes in bushels. <laughs> Got a little cat yeah. scratch fever. <laughs> These mushroom men are scary. Well, at least we're leveling up a Lulu. May not be the strongest, but she is a 5-star. Which is better than a 3-star. <laughs> Most of my poor little- poor little story characters. I, I need- I need to work on them more. They need some love. They deserve love. Okay, where do we start? This place is full of people, too. Don't worry, we'll do the talking just like before. Ah. Oh, what's going on? No, snakes. Help. Monsters in town in broad daylight? Fortunately, we are here to slay them. Cool. <laughs> I don't know why, but that response just seems so unnecessary and hilarious. We're actually gonna have her use Long Sword of Sin, because that's an AoE attack as well. Let's see if it makes it end. Okay, level 50 enemies is definitely where poor, um, poor Tiramis starts falling off in her damage, her fixed damage. Which is a pity, because, uh, you have to do quite a bit to be able to get her to the next level. Let's fight till the end. At least I th but maybe she's not maximum. I think she is maximum. Is she able to do, though? Dang it, that snake is still alive! Kill it! Good work. Let's keep it up. Good work, guys. We did it. Jeremis only did, like, a third of the work. Instead of all of it, another one bites the dust. Where are these snakes coming from? Eek. More snakes? Someone else is in trouble. It is more snakes. And more- oh goodness, the town is full of giant snakes! What's going on here? So the reports weren't exaggerated. The snake monsters are invading the town in force. Big Lance Knights are dealing with it. Get information. We must exterminate the vermin. Royal Order will not be daunted by these slithering beasts. But they're snakes, knights, not vermin. Not looking hope so hopeless anymore. Let's help them too. Oh dear, do we gotta fight more snakes? Oh good, it happened off screen. <laughs> All snake monsters have been exterminated. They seem to have emerged from Dogma Tower. Town guards asked us for reinforcements when the danger was spotted and we headed here without delay. It was a great surprise to find ourselves fighting alongside Aldo, the hero who defeated the Beast King. I don't really want the celebrity treatment, just glad Zarbo is safe again and no one was hurt. It's safe for now, but with Dogma Tower so close by, I fear it may come under attack again. What's the problem with the tower? That's where the Snake Woman Medusa has her lair. Instead of hair, monstrous snakes grow from her scalp. They obey her will. Lately, for reasons unknown, she's been sending them out to attack this town. We will keep a garrison here in case of any further attacks. Well, actually, we've been thinking of going into the tower. Maybe we could even do something about that Medusa while we're at it. I would very much like to help you, but I'm afraid in this case my hands are tied. 
tower falls under the jurisdiction of the Kingdom of Miglance, and I am not at liberty to provide access to it. It's fine. We're buddies with the king. Don't worry about it. If you can't, you can't. Sorry, Aldo. Well, I must get back to my duties. We're all on our own. I guess we could try asking King Miglance for a favor. So, I hear you want to go into the tower. Brino! Oh, we should throw him in the party. Huh? Haven't seen you in a while, Brino. Are you one of the knights stationed here? No, I came here on personal business. In fact, there is something I'd like to ask you of you. Come to the Dogma Tower and we'll talk there. Yeah. Sorry, Aldo. You're gonna get thrown out of the party for Brino. Wonder what he wants. Shall we do as he asks and see him at the foot of the tower? If he can help us, I will try not to be scared and talk to him too. Alright, let's meet him at the Dogma Tower. I don't know why I just want to call it the Dogma Tower, but I do. Aldo seems to have friends all over the world. He had pointy ears and his skin was dark. He be a dark elf like me. Sorry, Aldo. Brino is taking your place. That is the wrong filter. It's sword users. No, I don't want Cynthia! He is just worse than a Coco. That may not be true. I've never, never maxed her out because I have Nakoko, so I don't need to. Okay, back to the back to the tower. This cat is so floofy. You will oh. fall to Armed my mush. <laughs> that's uh that's a name. <laughs> Reno and uh Ilulu are about the same level. Which is sad because that level is eleven. I need to, uh, do more for them. More armored mush. No, I did it again! I need I need to not press F for things. I keep accidentally using another force and then I have to charge it up again. Great pity. Ow, my neck. Quite a pop there. Tab is not gonna make me move. Not the correct movement, okay? Hello there, Brino. So, what did you want from us, Brino? Strangely, I seem to have something of an affinity for bards. A certain bard who traveled from as far as the eastern reaches of this desert to the capital sang me an old local ballad. I like the bard. The bard NPC. They look cool. The ballad is about a sad love story. It's been passed from generation to generation since times long forgotten. Dot dot. Long, long ago, in the land of Kukutruge, two young souls pledged eternal love to one another. But the young man proved to be fickle and deserted his lover for another, a common enough trope you might think. But what happens next is unique to this one. On the day of the man's wedding, a woman appears dressed in rags, her hair in wild disarray. It is his earlier lover changed by grief almost beyond recognition. Bloodshot eyes sought out the bride and groom, transfixing them with her hateful gaze. And she spoke to them. Turn into stone and break into pieces just as my heart has because of you. The curse took immediate effect. The betrothed and their guests became a pile of rubble. The beautiful jewel which the groom was to present his bride was with glittered among the grey stones. The woman picked it up and left to spend the rest of her days alone in a tower in the midst of the desert. In the distant land of Coutruge... Oh, I guess that was the end. <laughs> I thought there was more. Come here propelled by a curiosity about the veracity of this ballad? Not quite. I've come here to investigate the reason behind the desertification of this land. If Medusa is behind it, she might also be behind the destruction of another forest. Another forest, you say? But enough of that. You're impatient to enter the tower, aren't you? Yes, but we've been told it's impossible without authorization from the king. 
so happens that I have the royal artifact, this bell here, which opens the tower. Oh wow, that's awesome. Good job, Brino. Hey, wait a moment. You didn't steal this bell, did you? I borrowed it. There was a hole in the wall of what turned out to be a maze underneath the royal castle. <laughs> uh, sorry, the labyrinth. What did I find there but a vault with precious artifacts such as a mirror of truth and this curious little bell? I'm sure if this bell was sentient, it'd be thanking me right now for saving it from imprisonment in the dark vault. So you did steal it. Consider this. If Medusa is any uh, is as anything like the legends suggest, she, then she is a threat to the country. As a royal knight, I have the duty and moral obligation to eliminate such threats. Not a hint of gu a guilty conscience. It's time to wake the tower from its long slumber. Chime of the bell resounds through the desert. Sparkly. Oh, door's unlocked. We can continue our search. Thank you, Elven Knight. Hey, I'm not doing this for you. The tower may hold many dangers. Having you around to deal with them is my is in my own interest. We have a common goal, finding the snake woman known as Medusa. Indeed, fortunately for me. The door to the tower is unlocked. Let's go inside and introduce ourselves to Madame Medusa. Okay. Zumalulu is still following? No, wait, that's a bandit. Treasure hunter. Yee hee, trailing them, tailing them has paid off. They even opened the door for me. Yee hee, it'd be a shame if they were turned to stone, but I didn't force them to go in there. I've been preparing for this day for so long. At last, Medusa's ruby will be mine. Wahahaha. Now, will Lulu show up? There she is. Huh, a witch lives in here. Maybe that's true. There's so much oog in this tower. Okay then, I'll take care of your wife. No worries. It's going to be as easy as falling off a log. Minus the sprained ankles, probably. What's this? A plant of some sort? The tower is very old. It might have pushed in through the cracks in the floor. Although, I get a chilling sensation looking at it. Oh. In this dim lighting, it's hard to make out more than just vague shapes, but if it's coming through the floorboards, we should watch our step. Mom, Mom, are you here? If my cards were right, and they certainly are, Medusa will lead us to this child's mom. I don't really care about his mom, but let's hurry and find Medusa before she ambushes us. If we keep going up, we're sure to run into her eventually. This is actually where we're going to stop for today, because I am tired now, and we've made some good progress. So we will uh, progress more with the Dogma Tower, or the, the, the Shadow Witch and the Celestial Tower, uh, next time. So, thank you all for coming. Uh, thank you, Grimthorpe. Thank you. Thank you, Shadow Wilson09. Anyone else? Goodbye! <laughs>